quality has always been important in office and today with all of the virtual work and employers doing everything they can to bring their employees back to the office, having quality buildings has never been more important and that's what our strategy has always been about. Joining me today is Owen Thomas, CEO of Boston Properties. Boston Properties recently received a platinum recognition as a 2022 Greenlease leader, as well as being recognized as a 2022 EPA Energy Star Partner of the Year, including a Sustained Excellence Award recognition. Can you talk about the company's commitment to sustainability? Uh, we are very focused on sustainability and we think it's very important and the reason why is because all of the constituencies that we care about care about sustainability. And I break that into four categories. You know, first is our clients. You know, the major corporations that we serve are increasingly interested in their own sustainability characteristics, which includes the offices that they work in. And um, you know, serving our clients is what we do. And so that's a very important group um, that we want to have this sustainability excellence for. The second is our capital providers. Shareholders are increasingly focused on this. We actually now go to conferences and just focus on our ESG uh, credentials. We're going to have a, um, a, uh, an engagement uh, with the marketplace in a few weeks that's just focused on ESG. Uh, fixed income investors, we've done three, I believe three now green bond deals where an increasingly large, larger percentage of the investors that buy our bonds are green bond investors. Um, so that's an important constituency. Third is the communities that we operate in. Uh, our company, as you know, is focused on six major um, coastal cities, and all of them care about sustainability. They're coastal, they're dealing with uh, sea level rise, uh, the, the uh, impacts of major weather events, and having landlords and uh, community members like ourselves that are um, engaged in sustainability is very important, I think, in in uh, engaging with our communities. And then lastly is our employees. You know, our employees care about this topic uh, more and more so as the years go by. And being good at sustainability makes their work more purposeful and makes us a more purposeful and I think interesting employer as a result. Boston Properties recently expanded in the Seattle market with the acquisition of Madison Center, a 37-story Class A office property. Why has Seattle been a good market for you over the past couple of years? Well, it's actually a new market for us. Uh, we entered uh, in 2021 with the purchase of Safeco Plaza. And then this, uh, as you just pointed out, in the last couple of months, we bought Madison Center. So we now own two major buildings in uh, the CBD of Seattle, and we think it's a terrific market. Uh, you know, there's many leading technology companies that are based there, Amazon and Microsoft. Uh, great educational institutions like the University of Washington, um, no state income tax, uh, we think it's a wonderful city. Madison Center is one of the top buildings uh, in Seattle and will be a, a showcase asset for us and we're very excited uh, to own it. What's on the horizon for Boston Properties in terms of M&A? Well, we're not active in the M&A market. Uh, we've built our company since its founding, frankly, more or less one building at a time. Literally built the buildings or in some cases, as I just described in Seattle, purchase them. Uh, we haven't done a significant M&A deal. We've bought buildings that are big enough to, you know, sometimes bigger than M&A deals, but uh, we're not active in that market. If you look at the office world, there hasn't been um, in the last several years any or very little company-to-company uh, M&A -company uh, deals. It's mainly been take privates. So. I believe it was last year CXP went private in a cash offer transaction. There have been other unsolicited offers for some of the other companies, but there's been very little you know, company to company M&A. And as you meet with investors this week, what are three top reasons you're giving them to invest in your company? Well, the three I would pick out, one is um, our focus on quality. Uh, office today uh, is very much, um, quality has always been important in office and today with all of the virtual work and employers doing everything they can to bring their employees back to the office, having quality buildings has never been more important and that's what our strategy has always been about. And everything that we do in the company is around quality, you know, including things like our, our balance sheet. Um, so that would be one. Uh, second is the growth that we are offering uh, to shareholders. Uh, we've forecast this year our FFO per share to grow at over 13%. We have a very significant development pipeline which is generating over 4% um, 
compound annual growth to our FFO per share in the years ahead. And uh, we're um, increasing our occupancy coming out of COVID. So I think we, our company has a very strong growth profile over the next few years. And then third, I think the valuation opportunity. I mean, our, our, um, our look through cap rate is, I believe today over 6%. You know, we trade at a big discount to NAV. Our dividend yields in the high 3% range, and we're at levels that we haven't been in uh, quite some time, particularly when we are offering such a growth profile. 